We have discovered microfossils that are composed of hematite. Basically, it's uh, uh, iron oxide, it's like rust. Through laser imaging of the samples, we were able to identify the microfossils as the oldest known microfossils on Earth. This is a slab that's been polished. There are these structures here, it is cut on the right hand side, but you can see kind of a, a, a structure that bends the layering in this rock. In diameter, the microfossils are half the width of a human hair. The microfossils we discovered are uh, about 300 million years older than the previously thought oldest microfossils. So they are uh, within a few hundred million years from within the accretion of the solar system and of planet Earth and the Sun and the Moon and so on. These rocks are being mostly composed of silica and hematite. We find these kinds of environments today uh, in the vicinity of hydrothermal vents, either in the deep ocean and in some places not in so deep uh, localities. The rocks are located in uh, the province of Quebec on the shoreline near to the Nastapoca Islands. One of the big questions when it comes to early life studies is whether or not the organic carbon we find in these rocks is actually biological in origin. So we used a very robust, rigorous approach to, to test whether these uh, microfossils we discovered were non-biological structures. If we are right with our new model for the origin of these spheroidal structures in these rocks that contain these fossils, then we might want to look for these kinds of things on other ancient planetary surfaces. The most exciting thing about this discovery is that we know that life managed to get a grip and start on Earth at such an early time in Earth's evolution, which gives us exciting questions as to whether we are alone in the solar system or in the universe. Uh, if life happened so quickly on Earth, then could we expect it to be a simple process and start on other planets or was Earth really just a special case?